morning. To God be all the glory, to him be all the honor, to him be all the praise. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. I'm going to invite you all to stand as we just lift up our hands towards heaven. And we just want to thank God for his goodness towards us this morning. Because truly, he has been good to us. More than great. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We magnify your name, God. We exalt you. We extol you. We lift you high above the heavens, God. And we declare that you are great and that you're mighty. And that you do us wondrous things this morning. You are God alone. We ask Holy Spirit that you just teach us your will, Lord. Allow us to walk in your truth. Unite our hearts to praise you. And allow us to glorify your name forevermore. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Glory to God, the worthy to be praised. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him, Lord. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. This morning our scripture lesson comes to us from Psalm 24. I read while you follow. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he had founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who hath not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. Verse 6. But this is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be lifted up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Who is, sorry, lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. And this morning we worship him for who he is. Not for what he can do for us this morning, but for who he is. He is God all by himself. And he needs no help this morning. Hallelujah to the very name of Jesus. And the very air that we breathe belongs to him this morning. So we have more than enough to do grateful for this morning. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. The fact that we're alive and well and we can move about in every activity of our lives is more than enough to be thankful this morning. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Let us pray. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Jesus, what a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and our griefs to bear. What a privilege, God, we have to carry everything to you this morning in prayer. This morning we ask Holy Spirit that you just purge us this morning. We ask Holy Spirit that you will just cleanse us. We ask Holy Spirit that you just wash us this morning. Make us whiter than snow. Hallelujah to the name of Jesus. This morning we cry unto you like the blind man in Luke chapter 18 and verse 38. And he says, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon us, God Almighty. This morning we will not be silent, but we will worship you in the beauty of holiness this morning. Even when the people warned him, God Almighty, to be silent, he cried out even the more louder. And this morning we will not withhold our praises. But we resound them aloud in the heaven this morning. Because truly, God, you have been great. Truly, God, you have been good. And so this morning, God Almighty, with a grateful heart, we worship you this morning with all of our hearts and not just a part. God Almighty, we lay our all on the altar this morning. We ask Holy Spirit that you consume us, Lord, with the fire of your spirit. Consume us, Lord, and make us more like you this morning. We ask Holy Spirit this morning that you take full control this morning, that you'll have your fullest way in our lives, God, because we realize that we can have no peace, we can have no joy until we allow you to take your rightful place this morning. So this morning we put you in front of our melodies because you're all that matters this morning. I pray, Holy Spirit, that Lord God Almighty will come and tabernacle amongst your people. God Almighty, let your presence be felt in a tangible way this morning. We nullify the works of the enemy this morning. And we ask God Almighty, Lord God, that you will have your fullest way this morning in this place. Oh God, this morning that self will be slain, that self will be crucified. And you alone will be glorified. If you have built any altars to any other gods this 
morning. We tear them down in the mighty name of Jesus. And we will erect our altars on the Jew this morning. We ask God and Spirit God Almighty that Lord God, you will come and do what no other can do this morning. Because we know God Almighty that Lord, there is none that can be compared to you this morning. You are great and you do us wondrous things this morning. So we ask God and Spirit that you help us, oh God, that will set our hearts and minds upon thee. That as we enter into the holies of holy this morning, that Lord God Almighty will glorify you in the beauty of holiness, oh God Almighty. Father, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you just bless us in the morning. Bless us collectively this morning. Take full control of everything that will be said and done. Let us, O oh God Almighty, be decrease in ourselves. And let you, God Almighty, increase in our lives this morning. That worship, O oh God, will be easy. That our praise will flow freely this morning. And that, God, you will, you will give you that which we owe you this morning. Father, we have so Holy Spirit. That Lord God Almighty, we your people, the sheep of your pastors, that we will humble ourselves in your presence this morning yeah. and will allow you to have your fullest way as we leave ourselves and touch your hands and we say thanks in all the name, but the mighty name of Jesus. And we say amen this morning. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Glory to God and the Son of the Lord. Just be honest. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God.
Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Lord Hallelujah. God, this morning. Thank you. I know that a lot of us in this people need this and we need that to, to make it. Glory to God. We are short of this and we are short of that. But I tell you this morning, the only thing we really need is Jesus Christ. And when we have him, we have everything. Hallelujah. He said to seek me first, the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all things will be added. I know some of us want to be married. Some of us want children. Some of us want our own houses. Hallelujah. A brand new car, a new job. We need, we desire so many things. But God says, if you put me first, yes. if you have me, daughter, son, you have everything that you need this morning. Help me just ask him this morning. Help me to know, God, that you are near, you're not far. Hallelujah. You live within me. Hallelujah. Help me to understand it this morning, God. Ah, oh, that when I have you, I have everything. Hallelujah. Somebody reach out and tell him this morning. Help all my unbelief, God, this morning. You're all I want. And that's why I look to you this morning. For you're where my head comes from. Hallelujah. You know, we just worship him, somebody. Thank you, Just raise your hand with this presence this morning. And acknowledge him as you see him. God, I look to you. You're where my help comes from this morning. Just worship him, Harry. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just focus on him this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we bless your name. We glorify your name. We honor you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God, I look to you. Thank you, Jesus. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do, Lord. I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed.
Yes, 
call us by name, Jesus. Know who you are. And because of who you are, we worship you. Jehovah, we sing your banner over us. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the miracle of waking up, clothing you in your right mind this morning, allowing you to be in his courts, just adoring somebody. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you this morning. And Lord, we declare that there is no one else like you. You alone do miracles so great. Oh God Almighty, you deserve the glory and the honor this morning for the miracles you continue to do in our lives, Lord, daily. Oh God, morning by morning, new mercies, we see it's a miracle. And I'm standing this morning on top of my grave. It's a miracle that I'm clothed in my right mind. It's a miracle that I can lift my hands. It's a miracle that I can speak. It's a miracle that I can see this morning, God. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. So many are not afforded this opportunity today, God. But why you love me? I can never understand. And for that, Lord, I'm thankful. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory, glory. Jesus. Thank you for your mercy. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And great to be praised in the city of our God in the mountain. You are beautiful for every situation this morning. Jesus. We worship you. We adore you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We're thankful to you this morning, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Th
Good to see you back in the house of God again. Amen. 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 I tell you, you better take advantage of coming to the house of God while the door is open. Because the time is coming when you'll probably have to go underground to worship God. We we'll call the name of Jesus. Yes. Where you'll have to live Thank out you your Jesus. faith. Yes. It's one thing to talk it, it's another thing to live it. Yes. Yes. To the name of Jesus. So while the doors are open, take advantage of it. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I know we usually do our tithe and our offering. Amen. The scripture is very clear concerning what you give to the Lord. Amen. Giving back to the Lord, especially when he has blessed you. Amen. Yep. Amen. With that which brings Amen. finances Jesus. into you. Yes, Lord. And he doesn't ask you for 90%. No. Just 10%. Amen. Some people are even stingy with a 10%. Hallelujah. And they have to end up working two, three jobs and can't wonder why they get a, can't get ahead. Yes. But if you're faithful Hallelujah. with the few, Hallelujah. with the little, yes. Trust me, God will increase Amen. you because he knows he can trust you. Amen. Amen. So I invite you to, if you haven't done so already, the machine is at the back for your, if you want to use the interact or if you want to give an offering. Amen. But while that is going on, before I pray about it, let me just give you some announcements. On Friday, October 28th, which is this Friday coming up. Uh, yes. Yeah, at 7.30 to 9, uh, Bishop Safri will be having a prayer at his church. It's not a prayer meeting. It's just where the church will come together and cry out to God and pray for the needs of the church and the needs of the district. Amen. Amen. So I'm asking the church to please support uh, this prayer session with your attendance. Thank you. There won't be any online thing. Support it with your attendance. Um, and as I said, members, prayer warriors, intercessors, whoever you are, please go. It's not that long. Amen. And, you know, we're going to make a list of the needs uh, of the ministry, the needs of the church. Amen. And we bring it with us that we can put it before the Lord. Amen. 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 If it's everything we need nowadays, it's prayer. Yes. That is so lacking. Yes. Nobody wants to pray anymore. They want somebody else to pray for them. Hallelujah. And I want to remind you that this Saturday is the uh, church cleanup. Amen. And the time will be set on the church wall. And those that are interested and so forth, please contact us to faith for more information and details. Amen. And as we announce the baptism, I know there are some that have spoken to me. And we weren't too sure what was going on. Please, if you still desire to be baptized, get in touch with me. Amen. We will do it before, amen, we have to leave this place. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen somebody. Amen. Let us stand. All glory, honor, and power. Dominion. Yes. Majesty belongs unto you, my Lord. Yes, Lord. There is none like you in heaven above. None on the earth, none below the earth. Who is like unto thee, O God, who stretches out the heavens and put the stars into place, who commands the waves of the sea to only go thus far and then return, who puts the sun and the moon on a schedule, and command your holy angels, O oh God, to take note of mankind and give an account. We worship you this morning, God. We honor you this afternoon, Lord God. With our tithe and our offering, Lord God. We know it doesn't seem as much, Lord, but little with you, O oh God, is much. And therefore we ask that you not only bless what is given, but bless the hand of the giver. In the name of Jesus, because they chose to be obedient to your word, be obedient to your principle, God. Let it work for them in the mighty name of Jesus. 
And the church said, Amen. 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 Praise God. You may be seated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. If you can please uh, remember to keep in prayer Reverend Flemings, Lady Flemings. Amen. As you see, they're not here. Yes. Amen. We continue to pray for God's complete healing. Yes. And remember the Morgan, uh, he's out ministering at uh, Bishop Sylvester this weekend. Amen. Amen. So Amen. hear them up in prayer. Amen. 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 And he walks with me. And he talks with me. And he tells me I am his own. And the joy we share as we tell.
Hallelujah. You see, he's aware. He's very aware. We need to understand that we have just been through a week of hell and I water. Some of the things that happened to us was unexpected. They're not normal. But this morning, we are here. Some of us have suffered some wounds, some heartache, some pains through this week. It's pain after pain. It's sorrow after sorrow. It's struggle after struggle. But as you come with these open wounds, Lord God, these unclosed matters, these matters that are open, ah, they need to be healed, they need to be shut off, so you can shift your focus. God is saying, just whisper a word of prayer, Lord, shut this up, shut that off, hey, they nearly killed me at work, but it didn't happen, you stop it, I failed Daddy, it hurt me, but I'm here this morning. I want you to heal that wound. It's hindering my worship. It's hindering my praise. I'm in the presence of the King. I must give him my best. I must give him my all. Hallelujah! 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 You see, you don't understand it. We are, we, are, we are not just flesh and blood, we are spirit, we have emotions, things impact us. And so when we come in the house, we are coming with everything that happened to us from last Sunday. Some of it is still lacking, we carry it, it's a burden, it's a weight, we thought it shouldn't happen, but it happened. Ah, but nevertheless, we are here, and God is here. I'm going to push through. I'm going to push through. I'm going to push through. Mm -hmm. Every open wound, that, that thought in the back of your mind, that keeps coming up every time you shout hallelujah, every time you want to pray, you can't pass it. You can't pass it. We turn it over to Jesus because worship is going to happen. We're in the presence of the King. We're in the presence of the King. Yes. Hey. We're in the presence of the King. It's time that the church recognizes and knows that this God that we serve is touched with the feeling of our infirmities. He cares. And so when you come with your issues, with your burdens, uh, don't sit with them. You don't need to carry them back home. Leave them at the altar. There's fire at the altar. Leave them at the altar. This is not just mere talk. This is a reality. It's a move of feet. You may be seated. Don't go back with your baggage. Don't carry back your load. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Glory to God. Nehemiah chapter 2. In the presence of the king. Yes. In the presence of the king. Mm. I usually have a song, but then something always goes left and right. Ah, oh, Lord God. I, I, I try to understand him, but every now and again he gives me a little bit more. And I understand him a little bit more, but never fully. And so sometimes I can't contain it. Lord God Almighty, I have to speak it like it is. I just can't contain it. He's moving inside and out. All over. He's just moving. You want to run. You want to shout. You want to dance about. Because God is in your presence. He's in your midst. I remember watching some documentaries, Bishop, a few years ago. I saw some people at a concert. 
And when Michael Jackson came close to them, they keeled over and fainted when he threw the shirt that was full of dirty sweat on them. They grabbed it and it was all over their faces. They would scream and cry, Lord God Almighty, I would to God that the people of God would recognize when they're in the presence of the king and lose themselves. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So as we look at Nehemiah chapter 2. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible tells us, I read. Lord, and Lord. it came to pass in the month of Nisan, in the 20th year of Artaxerxes the king, that wine was before him. And I took up the wine and gave it unto the king. Now I had not been before time sad in his presence. Wherefore the king said unto me, why is thy countenance sad, seeing that thou art not sick? The, oh, Lord God Almighty, you need to understand. I, I'm going, brothers and sisters. Just work with me. You need to understand the kind of king yeah. that we have. Yeah. This yeah. was just mere man. Yeah. But he could discern the difference between sick, Lord God, in his presence. Between sick and troubled in the spirit. We need to understand what's going on. Ah, let me go further. Just take the, the nuggets as I move forward. And said unto the king... This is nothing else. The king said unto him, Why is thy countenance sad, seeing that thou art not sick? This is nothing else but sorrow of heart. Then I was sore afraid, and said unto the king, Let the king live forever. Why should not my countenance be sad, when the city, the place my father's sepulchre lieth, waste, and the gates thereof are consumed with fire? Then the king said unto me, For what dost thou make request? So I prayed to the God of heaven, and I said unto him, If it please the king, and if thy servant have found favor in thy sight, that thou wouldst send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build it. And the king said unto me, The queen also sitting by him, For how long shall the journey be? And when wilt thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I set him a time. Moreover, I said unto the king, If it please the king, let letters be given to me, to the governors beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. Thus said the word of God. Uh, what, what is going on here is just an ordinary worker. It's just ordinary persons want to live, want to do their work. A Jew by nationality. We are believers sitting in the house of God. Wherever we go, the Spirit of God is with us. His presence is with us. We live and breathe God. We are all about God. It's Him. In Him that we live and move and have our being. When Christ came into our life, the scripture says, we no longer live, but it's Christ that liveth. So wherever I am, I praise Him. Whenever I can, I praise Him. Because His love surrounds me like a sea. I lift up the name of Jesus. For the name of Jesus lifted me. So here was Nehemiah, a humble servant. He loved the Lord and the things of the Lord. He served the, the, the pleasure of the king. A cup He would be the first man to die. If somebody tried to poison the king, he had to sip the wine. He had to taste the food. Nonetheless, he did his job reputably. He did his job well. He was immaculate because he did it as unto God. And so from time to time, he would enter the presence of the king. He was happy because the king wants nobody sad around him. 
Ah, uh, no wonder the scripture says, uh, when he, the king said, what happened to you? The Bible says he was sore afraid uh, because it's forbidden uh, to be unhappy in the presence of the king. Yeah. Lord God Almighty. Ah, yeah. uh, no wonder the songwriter caught it uh, and said, in the presence of Jehovah, troubles vanish. Yeah. Hearts are mended. You see, in the presence of the earthly king, you couldn't be sad. Much more in the presence of the heavenly king. And so the Bible says, prior to Nehemiah going to his job, he prayed. Let's read chapter 1. When he heard the news, the news that disappointed him, that sunk his spirit. Yes. That caused his soul to be cast down. Yes. He prayed. And he went to work. I, I, I want you to understand. That, that there are some things. It doesn't matter how. You, you, you turn it. It just weigh you down. Yes. It doesn't matter. There are things that will come upon you. That will complicate your praise. Yes. That will confuse your day to day operation. Yes. That will store up your order. Yes. Your daily order. Yes. Your method of operation. There are things. If it's not happening to you as yet. Look out. It's coming. It's going to turn your world upside down. Ah, uh, Lord God. But the Bible says, uh, while Nehemiah had to go to work, uh, he couldn't refuse the king's call. Uh, to refuse the king's call yes. is trouble. Yes. And so when the king called for his wine taster to come and taste his wine, Nehemiah showed up, uh, but the countenance was heavy. He came to do his job, uh, but he couldn't do it like before. It's his smile was turned upside down yeah. to a frown. But Lord God Almighty, he already prayed. You see, it doesn't matter if you don't feel it. You need to pray. Yeah. It don't matter if you're still sad. You need to pray. Yeah. It doesn't matter if the situation changes. You don't change. You need to pray. Yeah. But the answer could be on the way. Yeah. Uh, delay is not denial. Hey, I say you need to pray. Yeah. And so he prayed. Yeah. It was a vexed prayer. Lord God Almighty. Yeah. You don't know those prayers in the theater. Where you feel in your spirit. Like enough is enough. Yeah. And you say, Choman, I can't take it no more. Yes. Yes. It was a vexed prayer. God, you don't see what's happening. I'm going to do something about it. I'm going to the king. Jesus. Yes. Work it out. God's favor to be upon me. Yes, Lord. Yes. The Bible says when he went to work, the king examined him. Yes. How many of you know that you're being examined? Yes. Oh, yes. Lord. We know. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Not by me. Hey, I say you've been examined. You're in the presence of the king and you're being examined. Hey, Ah, uh, that's why some of the things you chew up come back down and is not accepted because the king examined it and find it unworthy. Yeah. Oh God Almighty. Hey, but he sees, he sees, he sees what's happening on this side of the crowd. Amen. Yes. The heart is burning. My God. Hallelujah. And so the Bible says. He couldn't move himself above his situation to perform his duty like he did before. How many of you have been there? Amen. How many of us have been there? Yes. Yes. Even now we are there. Oh God Almighty. But the Bible said, uh, Nehemiah went to work and as he performed, the king spoke. Nehemiah, what's happening? It's not physical. Oh Lord God. Yes. It's not physical. No. It's emotional. Yes, no one else can be. And it's also spiritual. Yes. Because it's impacting my worship. Yes. Jerusalem is the center of worship. 
So it's impacting my worship. Church, my show. Oh God Almighty. Just, just read through the text. Church, mash up. The walls were breached. In the house was living. Who should not be living in the inner chamber? Lord God Almighty. Hey, people forgot the word. So it was spiritual. And it was emotional. But God was about to act. Mm, the, the, the greater king yes. and so many times through scripture we have seen it we saw God dream into a biblic and said don't touch the man wife yes. we, we see it yes. and so God who is sovereign and is king of kings would have placed in, in this king's mind but out of Nehemiah's work ethic out of his godly performance he could do nothing else but favor the Lord God Almighty. Yes. Favor was upon him. Amen. And so the Bible said, he asked him, what do you want? Yes. What kind of request are you going to make? You see, you got to know yourself yes. and know your position. He couldn't impose on the king. He had to speak as he was given the term yes. or the opportunity to speak. Yes. What's wrong with you? He spoke. Uh, what do you want me to do? Then he speak again. If he had spoken out of turn, the king could have said, you're acting like you are the king. You're telling me what to do. But Nehemiah was wiser. He humbled himself. He was in pain. He was suffering. That's why some people get strung out on drugs. That's why some people turn alcoholics because the pressure is on and they don't know how to handle it. They don't know how to take a baby step at a time. They want to run and so they want it to be over and done with. And so the battle is the, oh, oh Lord, the battle is the means by which they overcame. But I want to tell you that we serve a great big wonderful God the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords we need to look no further or to no other help or no other source and so Nehemiah a prime example of balancing work and ministry Lord God hey, just watch the text brothers and sisters a prime example of balancing work and ministry. He had the two of them. He wasn't just a cupbearer, but the king knew he was a righteous man, a man of God. Amen. The king knew him. Yes, sir. Because he exhibited this kind of behavior. Mm. And so, whatever is complicating your situation. I, I, I can't name it. I don't know it, but you know it. Yeah. But whatever is complicating your situation, you might have left it at home, Lord God Almighty. And you're going to go back to it. But I need you to understand that when you leave out of here today, you're going to be equipped yeah. to overcome. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory yeah. to God. It's easy to tell you that, hey, they're going to lay hands on you. And what's at home is going to disappear. It might not happen that way. You might have to go home back and face it. But you'll be enabled and empowered to deal with it. The serving that we're serving God is not a fear tale. There's no white pony. No, no, no. It's reality. It's real Christian living. It's supernatural. And, and it's a mystery. We don't fully understand it. But by faith, we are trusting in the supernatural God to move on our behalf. And so, every kingdom has a head and every head of every kingdom is the king or the king's designate. Yes. So the king don't have to be running things. Uh, there's one king that had leprosy, he had to be put away. Somebody had to run business until he, he could come out. Nobody would see them. So we need to understand that every kingdom has a king. 
earthly kings possess uh, so much authority. Earthly kings, they are admired, they are adored, they are revered. Do you see what's happening uh, at Buckingham Palace? Yes. Did you see that two, three weeks? Oh God Almighty! Yes. I was so annoyed. But hey, many of those people would never spend time, that much time. Give them an hour. Give them half an hour. Oh, it's boring. I don't want to hear about no king of kings. I don't want to hear about no lord of lords. But they were walking. They were crying. They lined up for days. Ah, they put thousands of flowers and bunnies and all kinds of things but we need to recognize that this is man doing that flesh and blood we who are called by his name have the grand opportunity of being with the king of kings and the lord of lords we reside in his presence we go in and out because he has given us access jesus through the veil and we know our access we can go in and out Lord God Almighty, let me tell you about Esther. She wanted to go in the presence of the king, but she couldn't go. She was afraid until God opened the way. She said, if I perish, I perish, but I must see the king. You need to understand, it's death to go in without an invitation. But when it comes to our time, this dispensation, the veil has been removed. Yeah. And as we are, we enter into the king of kings, into the holies of holies. Yes. We have conversation. Yes. 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 Let me take it a little bit further. When I look in the text, I see uh, in the New Testament, I see this king. He, he, when, when you see the disciples, uh, the Bible said uh, there was one leaning uh, on his breast. Uh, yes. let, let, let me show you the kind of king uh, that I'm talking about. Uh, they were on his breast uh, having conversation. Uh, they put their finger uh, in his nail scarred hands. Uh, yes. Let me show you the kind of king. Uh, he's not far away. Yes. Hey, uh, he doesn't need permission no. to let you, oh God. Yes. Those kings, in time of war, you'd have to be examined. Yes. Oh, Lord God, you got to go bathe yourself properly, shave yourself properly, proper attire, or you couldn't enter. But Lord God Almighty, if we could roll back the curtains and look at some of us life, where we were when we entered the presence of the king, we would be off on our feet, jumping and running up and down. We weren't ready. No, but he said, come as you are. Come as you are. Come as you are. And so... The Bible says, we enter the king's court for various reasons. Yes. We see in Esther 1, we're to enter the king's court to celebrate. Yes. Mm -hmm. Celebration was happening. Yes. The king felt good. He invited his princes and his governors, yes. and they came in. And they celebrate. Uh, the authority of the king was unchecked. The king told those at the party, you can drink as much as you want. Yes. Anything that you want to satisfy your pleasure, you can do it. That's the authority of the king. Amen. So we enter the king's presence for various reasons. The Bible also says, that the king called for the queen. Let, let, let me talk. The king called for Queen Vashti. See him, Esther. Just, just read it. Call for Vashti. But you need to understand that these are the kinds of kings that saw the need to show off, to brag, to boast. They were early kings. It was about how big 
my palaces. It was about how big my army is. It was about how pretty my wives are. How much gold I have. How much silver I have. How much chariot I have. How many countries I could conquer. This was what it was about for them. And so when he called for Vashti, Vashti is one of them top of top of girls, you know. She decided, mm, I'm not going. Not today. You're not going to show me off like a trophy. I'm better than that. Lord God Almighty, the Bible said because of the king's authority. Authority. Because of his authority. He said, all right. You're not coming. But you need to understand that within the king's circle, I'm running a little faster. Within the king's circle, there are influential people. Ah, ah, Lord God. But we, we don't have anybody to influence Jesus. The Bible said, we send we praise up and the blessing come down. He unites our praise. He knows me by my name. He has numbered the hairs on my head. He see my down setting, my uprising. Even if I make my bed in hell, he's there. God, there's no place I can hide from his presence. He knows the way I take. Yes. Yes. And so Vashti get in trouble. And all those princes yes. and his counselors sat yes. and they gave advice yes. as a king yes. make an example of yes. her yes. make an example yes. of her yes. king guess what king all the men in in this province they're gonna think you're soft yes. but if you put away Vashti they're gonna make the, the wives are going to have to honor them. Yeah. The men are going to put down their feet. Yeah. And any women cross the line, they're going to be in trouble. So set the example, King. Yes, yes. Yeah. Read the text. Ah, yeah. oh, Lord God. And so the king listened to these advice. Yeah. So they were influential people yeah. in the king's circle. Yeah. But I thank God that doesn't matter. A, church is a funny place. If Sister A and Sister B catching a fight, God forbid. Ah, Lord God Almighty. Sister A can't go to God and say, Sister B, don't listen to Lord. Sister B can't go to Sister Go to God and say, don't listen to Sister A. None of us control God. No. He run things. Yeah. Who can give him counsel? None of us. None of us. He doesn't answer to us. Yeah. He's God all by himself. Yeah. And so Vashti was not there. Mm -hmm. But I opened the door for Esther. Right. But it's not about Esther. Ah, oh, Lord God Almighty. You see, the king... You can't disobey the king. It's part of his authority. Yes. He, he, he's not going to frown on your disobedience. He's going to act. But thank God, this king is merciful. Yes. Lord Jesus. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. No wonder why we keep making the same mistake. Yes. Living the same yes. life. One foot in and one foot out. No wonder we keep doing the same thing because this king is merciful, but he's not gonna chide his anger forever. He has a season and a time when he's gonna cut off. Hallelujah! He's gonna cut off. He will not strive with men. Oh Lord God, at all times. So there's a cut off point, but let's move forward. Uh, in the king's court. There are those who go in to set up evil. Mm. Oh Lord Amen. God Almighty. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes. I said, in the king's court, I'm talking about the earthly king. Yes. In the king's court, there are those that go in to set up evil because they have seen you and they want your don't fall. Yes. Don't you must go. Oh Lord God Almighty, just run to Daniel 6, 5 to 7 and 12. 
Ah, Lord God, I'm not reading, but I'm not hurrying either because I want the word to go forth. Uh, the people of God uh, must be set free yes. in their spirit uh, and in their minds. Uh, yes. You need to understand who you are uh, yes. and where you live. Yes. You are not earthly, yes. oh God Almighty. Yes. You are not of this earth. Uh, you are a pilgrim and a sojourner. Yes. You are passing through yes. and your domain uh, is in the kingdom yes. of Almighty God. Yes. You follow yes. the laws of the land. Don't be a vagabond in the world. No. Follow the laws of the land. Yes. But where they compromise your kingdom yes. principle, yes. you need to draw the line. Yes. 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 Draw the line. Yes. And so as we look at Daniel, a humble man of God, all he wanted to do was to be left to pray three times a day. He didn't want their wives. He didn't ask for any more robe. No. Don't give me a big appeal. Lord God Almighty. Sometimes you don't know why people got you. A spirit of evil. Spirit of bitterness. Spirit of jealousy. Spirit of hatred. All he wanted to do. Go, kneel down, open this window. Pray and get some fresh air. And glorify God. But to some, it shouldn't happen. Because they had audience with the king. The Bible said they went in. Not one. Oh Lord God Almighty. Yes, yes. Mm -mm -mm. When one is against you. You can, you can see over there. You say okay that's nothing. Lord God. But some people influence run deep. It run deep. Hey. Somebody need to watch their back. You need to watch your back. Watch your back. I'm telling you, watch your back. Yes. Some people influence run deeper. Yes. It's deeper than what you think. Yes. It's deeper than what you see. Yes. You're not privy to those conversations. They don't call you in those meetings. Yes. Lord God, you don't get to read those emails. Right. Hey. You don't get those memos. Watch your back. They went into the presence of the king. The whole group. And them kind of kings need hundreds of those governors and princes. It was a big kingdom. Hundreds. They met together. And the Bible said, they said, king, live forever. Sweet of the king. That's all you want to hear. The whole of them are the same. That's all. The, and, and the funny thing about the earthly kingdom, as long as you're living, they can't have two kings in the same kingdom. No, no. David and his son was at war. Yeah. You can't have two kings. Hey, sorry to say it, Queen Elizabeth had to die. Yeah. Oh, Lord God. Because Charles couldn't ascend. No. You, you, you don't understand this thing. Watch this now. Everybody, sorry for Harry. But if I sorry for him some more, he will never ascend until William and all his children take it. Oh God, you don't understand. But Lord God Almighty, Scripture tell me that I will arrive. Oh God, oh God, you don't understand. When this life, when it's over, when it's over, when the trump of God sounds. We're going up. Yes. We don't have to wait on anybody. Oh. If you're not ready, you're just not ready. We're going to be with the king. Yes. yes. Amen. Kingdom living. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. And so all these guys went in. They had to concoct a good plan. Yes. Hey. You, you gotta mark these people when they yes. sit to do evil. Yes. Oh they God. do it well. Yes. Mm -mm. That's right. They don't miss no. a note. And so step by step, the king was led down a steep slope, yes. a slippery slope, and he couldn't come back up. Amen. When he signed it off, yes. he couldn't pull himself out. He had to go. Lord God, yes. hey, I said he had to go to the king of kings. He fasted up. Yes. Yes. The king. 
who signed his own decree. Oh God. Yes. Couldn't reverse it. No, couldn't. He had to go. Yeah. Oh Lord God. They don't get it. They don't get it. He had to go on his bed, lay all night, and fasted all night for God. Oh God. The King of Kings. Hey, the King above every other king. Mm -mm. The Lord above every other Lord. To reverse it. So when Daniel was in the lion's den, the king was the first one, Lord God, yep. to go down. Yep. Yes. Daniel. You're still in there, Daniel. Yes. Are you still there? Yes, yes. yes I am. Hallelujah. I am in the presence of the king. He sent some angels. He sent. Yes. He got a whole battalion. Hey, the whole horse of heaven, he pick out a few and send them because I got in a little trouble. Just a little scuffle. It's nothing too much. Just a little scuffle. Some boys, Lord God Almighty, who think they're bad, who think they wrong things, decide to set me up. But Lord God, they meant it for evil. But all things work together for good. Because King, 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 guess what? If I told you, you wouldn't believe it. If I told you about my God, you wouldn't believe it. But you see it for yourself. You see it for yourself, King. He's the real King. The real big man. Shut lion mouth. So you got the King of Kings meeting the Earthly king yes. plus the king of the animal king. Oh Lord yes. God. Every king subject to the one king. king. Yes. The one king. Animal king of the animal kingdom. Yes. Shut them out. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. The king makes judgment yes. in his court. I tell you. I remember Lady Faith. I wasn't here, I wasn't in Canada. But thinking about life and things, sometimes you come under pressure. Yes. <laughs> Severe pressure. Yeah. You forget what you're doing, where you're going. Yep. Yes. You walk and walk. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes people me. walk out in the street and get yeah. hit by a car yes. because of the pressure of life. Yes. The yes. pressure. And those hey. And those the king makes decisions and judgments, and they are right in his court. Ah, the Bible says if you acknowledge him in all your ways, he will direct your path. I run on, I run on. As we look in the king's court, First Kings 3, 24, we see a judgment pronounced in the king's court. We see a mother, two mothers, two mothers, Ah, uh, come before Solomon, yes. the king, newly crowned king, want to test if him have any use. Yeah. God Almighty, yes. they want to test, does this king have any use? Uh -huh. God has established Solomon. Yes. God bless him. Yes. Set him up. That's right. And so something had to be there. The only problem he had, he went astray. Yes. But if he had continued. Yes. yes. And so the Bible said, Mother sleep on one baby. Yeah. Baby dies. Yeah. And he takes she takes the other baby uh -huh. and she comes before the king. And Solomon was able to discern yes. from asking all these questions. Yes. What what who's yes. baby? Yes. Alright. I'm gonna cut the baby in two. Uh -huh. You take half yes. and she take half. Yes. And watch this wicked woman. Yes. You, yes. you see it here. Yes. Some of them are your friends. Some of them are your friends. I'm talking about living in the presence of the king. You got some friends. Ah, oh, Lord God. They're, they're plotting for you. You can't have it. Because they don't have it. I said you can't have it. Because they don't have it. 
they should get it first. And when they get it, they shut the door. Nobody else. The Bible said, slice the baby in two. What a wicked one. But hear the real man. Hear the one with compassion. Lord God Almighty, I'm so glad. That my king has Hallelujah. compassion. Yeah. Hey, yes, look how many times I feel him. Ah, yeah, yeah. oh, Lord God, I should have been yeah. cut off. Yeah. Yeah. I should have been cut off. Yeah. I should have died. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I should have been cut off. Yeah. But two is compassion. Yeah. Two is loving yes. kindness. Two is understanding. Because in all points, he was tested, yes. Lord God, yes. as we were in all. It didn't say yes. some. No, no. Mm -mm. Yes. So you can say it's a new age and these sins new. They never have no phone to tell like, Lord God. <laughs> they never have no social media, but they still have their yes. alls that they met and crucified people. Amen. You see the Pharisees, all they met and decided what they were going to do with Jesus. Did you see how they brought the 30 piece of silver and bribe Lord God? Hey, it's not just now. There's no new sin. Oh, God Almighty. And so Solomon said, listen, just give the real one the baby. The one that showed compassion. The one that wants life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Manifestation of wisdom bring forth, sir. Yes. I tell you, yes. in the present, these are earthly kings. Yes. Ah, but we have a king. We have a king Jesus. Ah, he reigns in the heaven. Yes. And he reigns in the earth. Yes. We have a king. A king of kings and lord of lords. He's our king. Our soon coming king. He was here and he went away not to stay. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back. Mm -hmm. He's not the kind of king that's going to tell you a lie. Because he's not man that he should lie. All these earthly kings, it doesn't matter how big their dominion was. They have all died. Somebody else take over. Some dominions have split. Ah, oh, Lord God. Some are no more. You can't find them. There's no trace. But the Bible declares that his kingdom is from everlasting to everlasting. We are a part of something that will last all eternity. We are prince and princesses. Ah, oh, Lord God. When we ascend, oh God Almighty, when we ascend, we're going to look like him. Hey, he's not going to be afraid for us to wear the same robe. Oh Lord God, that celestial body. Hmm? And let me tell you something. Let me try to wrap it up. Let me tell you something. They, 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 they have bamboozled us to think that white is right and black uh, is no good uh, and, and stay back but the kind of white that jesus was talking about no 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 it's not this kind of white this don't glow it's a radiant light the light that when moses came down and the people saw it a uh, man can make that kind of light So we send back that lie. Hmm? There's nothing wrong with us. Hallelujah. Black and white. Yeah. <laughs> Brown. Whichever yeah. color you want to call it. Yeah. There's going to be that radiant yeah. light. Yeah. That glow. That glory. Beyond the sun and the moon. Yes. Glory. So we have a king. Daniel 7, 13, 14 says. I saw in the night vision. And behold one like the son of man with the clouds of heaven and came to the ancient of days and they brought him near before him 
And there was given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations, and language serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion yeah. which shall not pass away. And his kingdom, that which shall not be destroyed. Amen. This is the king that we serve. Amen. Mm, I haven't reached anywhere as yet. But thanks be to God. Let me read some more. Revelation 19, 13 to 6 says, And he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of God. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean, and out of his mouth got a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. And he treaded the winepress of the fierceness of and wrath of Almighty God, and he had on his vesture and on his thigh a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. This is whom that we serve. Amen. The psalmist tells us uh, in Psalms 100 and verse 4 that we must enter into his gates uh, with thanksgiving uh, and into his courts uh, with praise. Uh, we must be thankful unto him uh, and bless his name uh, because he's our Lord uh, and he's good. Amen. You see, the king court uh, consisted of his household and councilmen, wise men, magician, sorcerer, all that you can name, armor bearer. In the, in the case of David, the king's court was also his entourage. They would follow him everywhere. Yes. So there was a physical, material place. Yes. And also it was the group of people that followed him everywhere. In, in 1 Samuel 9, I'm coming down. In 1 Samuel 9, it helps us to understand the authority of the king. So it's not just in the presence of the king. It's all good and well that you have a title. But the title must have some oomph, yeah, yeah, some yeah. power yeah. must be behind it. There are many kings. You can call Pharaoh, but he's no more. You can call Darius, but they're no more. You can call Artaxerxes, but they're no more. Solomon, Rehoboam, Jeroboam, you name them, they're no more. But every time you call for Jesus, he shows up. He's always on time. He never leaves. His authority never wins. Whatsoever he says, come to pass. Yes. Yes. And so when we look at 1 Samuel 9, we will see the authority that the king wields. Samuel had warned the people. He said, listen, they're gonna, the king is going to take your sons and your daughters. He's going to take your land. Taxation is going to take the choices of your son. Put them in the army. They're going to ride chariots and do all manner of things. He's going to take your business. But Lord God Almighty, the king I know, this king that I know, oh Lord God, one samurai says, what can I give to him? What can I give to him? I can never out love him. I can never out give him. The earthly kings take and they take and they take. You see the, the uproar that came the other day when Queen Elizabeth died. Everybody want back their diamonds. Everybody want back their jewelry and all kinds of stuff. I don't know. I wasn't there. I can't prove it. But it's the story that's been told. And we know all sorts of things happen and misrepresentation happen. But that's under earthly king, earthly domain, man that is governed by the prince of this world. They will lie. They will steal. They will cheat. But when we come to God, the king of kings, his character is unblemished. He will not lie. He's not man that he should lie. Furthermore, this king, he know that we couldn't help ourselves. Lord God. There are some earthly kings. They take. And when you can't give anymore, they still ask you to give again. But this king, when we were helpless and hopeless, oh, we couldn't deliver ourselves. We couldn't pay the debt that we owe. The Bible said he left the splendor of heaven, put aside his kingly garment. Lord God, he put aside his entourage. I don't need any soldiers. I don't need any warring angels. The writer said he could have called 
10,000 angels. He said, I don't need any. Uh, Lord God, uh, I got some people to deliver. They, they deserve unconditional love. They were my enemies, but I love them nonetheless. Authority. Stepped out on his own word. That's the authority of this king. He stepped out. And so, the authority that we speak of is the power and the right to give orders, make decisions, enforce obedience. And I, was, I want to thank God for this king because he doesn't force us. No. Yeah. Free will. Yeah. Free will. Hallelujah. Free will. Amen. So, in the presence of this king, mm, hearts are mended. Mm, in the presence of this king, yes. And so, I, I, I know time is going. I don't want to extend. As the Bible says, with, with letter in hand, with letter in hand, I'm closing, Nehemiah left Jerusalem with the blessing of the earthly king, yes. the guidance, the direction, the backing, of the yeah. heavenly king. Thank you, Jesus. He had it both ways. Oh, Lord God. Oh, he had letters. Yes. You see, Paul? He had letters to go kill. The Christians. Yes. 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 This right. man had letters. Nehemiah had letters to go to every governor. Let me through. See, See a passage. passage. Yeah. I believe they had to Give him chariot and horse to go. Mm, yes. okay, okay. Safe passage. Yes. Listen to me. We are in the presence of the king. king. Yes. We have our own angel. Our yes. own battalion. Yes. Lord yes. God Almighty. Yes. To bring us safely through. Yes. Hell is belching. Yes. The devil doesn't like it. No. But, but I love the distinction. Jesus is king of kings. And yes. lord of lords. But you. You are prince of power of the ear. Yes. Hallelujah. That settles it. Yes. You, you, you got to take the word as it is. That settles it. There's a distinction between where I am, who I am, and who you are. Yes. yes. Thank you, Jesus. And so as you present yourself today in the courts of the king, I'm closing. Your countenance is noticed. It's noticed. And he has the authority to grant your request. For me, it might be an unexpected request. I can't grant it. But you're in the presence of the King. The Bible says, He's touched with the feelings of our infirmities. And the scripture tells me that he was having church. Yes. Big church. The place was full with people. But he saw the woman passing in the crowd. Bow down with the spirit of infirmity. Yes. Yes. And so you're not unnoticed. Yeah, he knows what hurts your heart. Amen. Yes. Matthew 8, 5 to 10. St. Luke 11, 10, 16. To 19. All shows the authority of this king as he sent the disciples out. As he ministered when he walked the earth. In Matthew 28 he said, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me, in heaven and in earth. Uh, we are a part of this kingdom. We are a part of this kingdom. We possess the same power. Mm -hmm. yes, and, and so, as we leave today, brothers and sisters, as I said earlier on, if you leave, you might not get your, somebody laying hands on you. I'm closing. We can stand together. You might not even feel different. 
But you got to believe the word. Yes. The earth is within God's domain. He has the whole world in his hand. And so as children of his kingdom, we're in his presence. I'm looking at you. I don't know what's going on in your head, but he knows. The Bible says the spirit understands your groaning, yes. your utterings, even your tears. Amen. I see Nehemiah heading home. Like we are going home. And I encourage you, as you go home, reassess the situation. Verse 13, chapter 2. Put plans in place. Discuss the problem. Verse 17, 18, chapter 2. Be prepared for opposition. Verse 19. In verse 20. Stand on the authority of the king. Stand on the authority of the king.
we might be Father, we be exalted. We lift up your name on high. As we, your children, stand before your presence, your awesome presence, we acknowledge your Lordship over our lives. You reign supreme. We are your people. We bow. We give you reverence that we glorify you, our Lord God. We thank you today for being in our midst. We thank you for your presence and your power that is at work in the world. Father, as your people pour out their hearts before you, you promise to hear us when we call. Ah, Lord God, your word declares that none that trust in you, and no one who comes to you, you will in no wise cast away. And so, Lord God, we run to you. We run to you today. Our hearts are overwhelmed. Many are filled with sorrow. Ah, Lord God, they need to put their request in because you are well able, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mighty God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Move upon every road right now in the name of Jesus. Move upon every road. Trouble every heart. Trouble every mind. Trouble every spirit. Lord, root up. Dig out, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Break up, Lord God, that which needs to be broken. That which needs to be dismantled and dispelled in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we call on you now to send fire, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. We burn up now, Lord God, our uh, Lord, some barriers that have been put up in the name of Jesus. To hinder breakthrough, ah, oh, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, we burn up those barriers now with the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, mighty warrior, your battles that have been fought on every corner, in every avenue, in every area. We ask you to send angels. Send your warring angels in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Lord God, with fire on their swords to cut, to pierce through the enemy, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Destroy the destroyer in the name of Jesus. Back up. Take your flight in the name of Jesus. We release your people from bondage. We release them now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. God Almighty. Mm -hmm. The King is in residence. We are subjects of your kingdom. Lord, we stand behind your authority. We stand behind your authority. And we declare it now. We declare that the enemy's power is broken in the name of Jesus. Lord God, those who are bound to oppress, we break it now. We break the spirit of the oppressor. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord God, kingdom people come together. And we call on the king. Yes, you're not like earthly kings. Lord God, when the people of Samaria cried to the king, he had no answer. But Lord God, Liberty Hall 129, we're crying to you because we know you have the answer. 
we know you have the answer. As the earth mourned in darkness, you sent the Savior, Lord God Almighty. Yes, Daddy, he came and he dropped the charges. He brought us back into fellowship. Ah, uh, when he was leaving, he said all power belongs to him in heaven and in earth. He endued us with that power. Ah, uh, we stand upon that authority today. In the name of Jesus, we seal your people under your blood. God Almighty, as the angel of the Lord, the captain of the Lord of hosts, went before Joshua. Yes, Lord, go before your people into their different abode. Go before your people, mighty warrior. Ah, uh, go before your people. We see you. Ah, uh, we trample you. We abort it now. Mm -hmm. Every trap, every sneer. Mm -hmm. That which is evil, we reveal it openly in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we send back those arrows, arrows of depression, arrows of doubt. Yes, Lord, arrows of madness, of confusion, lunacy. Ah, in the name of Jesus, we send it back. We send it back. Arrows of poverty. We send it back in the name of Jesus. We send it back. Arrows of sickness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord God, we seal your spirit ah, of infirmity. We send you back in the name of Jesus. Take your hand of God's people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Complete blood coverage. Every car. Every home. Cover from fire. Cover from death. Cover from accident. In the name of Jesus. Cover. Cover. Cover from job loss. Cover from inflation. Lord God Almighty, the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. They shall have in the name of Jesus and lack nothing. In the name of Jesus. Cover. Cover. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Cover. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mighty God. Every spirit that rises up against this house wants to see the doors closed. Hey, hey, hey! In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, it shall not happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, it shall not happen. In the mighty name of Jesus, your will be done. God, on earth as it is in the heaven. Yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. We shut it down. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come again. Jesus. Come again. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. With the blood and the fire of mm -hmm. Jesus. In the, in the name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In, in the, the name of name Jesus. Of Jesus. Uh -huh. In the mighty name of mm -hmm. Jesus. We block it now. We block it now. And we release open market. <laughs> open market. Open. In the name of Jesus. We command you to open. We command you to open. In the name of Jesus. Nothing that is impossible. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Oh, the Ruba Bell. Mm -hmm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, the Ruba Bell. In the mighty name of Jesus. But by the Spirit of God, we command you to open. Open. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. In the mighty name of 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 Jesus. Infuse them with new life, new vigor, new vitality in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. We cover Lady Flame. We cover Lady Flame. In the name of Jesus. We cover Lady Fleming. We cover in the mighty name of in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're not coming back. Mm -hmm. You're not coming back. It's over. In the name of Jesus. Every portal, every door, every entry, every access, we close. Ah, we sever every connecting source that feeds into your plan. And we cut it off now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Cover it with Yes, mighty God, do it again. Do it, mighty God. Holy Lord, Jesus. We seal your house in the name of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We seal them now. They shall not go on. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ah, the same blessing that you bestowed, that you declared to Noah. We declare it upon your people. As long as the earth remains, uh, and we, your people, are present, God, bless us, keep us, watch over us, in the mighty name of Jesus. Your will be done, Jesus. In Jesus' name. We say amen. amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep on keeping on. Thank you, Lord. Live your life reminding yourself you're in the presence. Hallelujah. That's where you live. On your street. Oh, Lord God. Renting our own. It's in the presence of the King. Let the glory of God shine from your house. Let it shine from your house. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Don't fall on nobody. I tell you. Don't put up no Halloween. Oh, welcome no present. Oh, oh Lord God Almighty. Glory, it's over. I need to come down. Thank Don't you, follow Jesus. nobody. Yes. I select your Jesus. house. Be the one that's making that beer. I tell Glory you, you anything you set up in this in day, going to stay Jesus. with you. Hey, I say anything Jesus. you set up. In the name of Jesus. Let the glory of God shine yes, on you. Yes, yes. Let it look beer and I'm not coming. Let the value drop because it don't look pretty. But the Lord God, Jesus. it's a house of God. Hallelujah. Mighty God. Mighty God. People of God, walk. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus.